Welcome to this edition of the Dean's Video Newsletter. Uh, today's a really exciting day. I've got a, a lot of news to tell you with regards to our recruitments. Uh, if you've had a look at Rapport, you'll see that we've actually highlighted uh, several of our new recruitments into the faculty uh, and the tremendous growth that's been there. But what I think most people don't know is that the extent of our recruitment over the course of the last two years. You know, early on when I came into this role, we talked about the fact that we'd be restructuring the faculty, that we'd be looking at differences in the way we do our accounting processes and, and making sure that things run through correctly. And that all sounds really dry, right? But the purpose in doing all of that is that it allowed us to free up resources or reallocate resources within the faculty and drive them back into faculty development. And so that really translates into recruitment of new faculty members and to growth within our faculty. Over the course of the last two years, we've brought in over two dozen new faculty members and that is going to continue over the course of this year as new members are joining us. So what does this look like? What types of individuals are we bringing in to this? Well, it's a whole range of individuals. As you can imagine, in a faculty that's this broad, right, if we think just about the basic sciences component for a moment, right, we're looking at individuals who bring a tremendous wealth of skills to our tables new ways of thinking, new ways of teaching students, research programs that complement those that are already in place, or programs that take what we have and drive it to an entirely different level. Or if you look on our clinical side of the house, the growth there has been equally as impressive. You know, we have individuals who have joined us who are brand new out of their fellowship programs, who have tremendous training in cell biology or in outcomes uh, or in data analysis, uh, through to individuals who are very seasoned and experienced. So let me give you a couple of examples of what this looks like for us. And undoubtedly one of the largest recruitments that we've done both numerically and well in terms of the costs that go with that has been the recruitment of our new chair of microbiology and immunology, so Professor Eric Arts. So we, we brought not only Eric back to Western, he's a grad from here, uh, and then did his postdoctoral training and graduate work uh, elsewhere, and then really developed one of the North America's leading HIV research uh, teams at the Case Western Reserve. We've recruited him and his team here. Now what does that mean? Well, it means not only do we bring the graduate students and a direction in research that really drives us into the forefront of HIV research in North America, but we have to also rebuild the laboratory resources that go along with that. That, in itself, is not an easy task. It means taking our viral vector facility and bringing it to the forefront of facilities in North America. If you looked at comparators a year from now when we're done, there's only two comparators. Likely Princeton and Stanford would be the type of levels that we're looking at with that, and ours will be ahead of theirs. If we look in any of our basic sciences departments right now, we've had brand new individuals who have come on board. And what we're seeing already is a tremendous rate of success at Tri-Council. But that success is being built on how quickly they've integrated into our programs. So whether we're looking at biochemistry, where we've brought in new individuals to augment our proteomics side of the equation, or into epi and biostats, where we've brought in new individuals who are really helping us understand population dynamics and the economics to go with that, or to the entirety of the new MPH program, which is virtually all new faculty members who have been brought into this program, now under the leadership of Dr. Amardeep Thind for that program. If you look forward at who's coming down the road for us, there are recruitments that are already in place. We have an investigator joining us out of Montreal, a senior investigator in studies of autism uh, as well as in neurobehavior, who is really one of Canada's foremost leaders, in fact North America's foremost leaders, in what is called optogenetics. So this is Dr. Julio Martinez Trulio, who's going to be joining us in the Department of Physiology and Pharmacology and will be centered within the Robarts. And his research program looks at the ability to use light to turn on and off neurons in models that you can actually look at both the physiological as well as the imaging aspects of how does that change function for us. Imagine what you can start to do then when you marry that to a very strong neurodegenerative diseases program. So as you begin to look across what's happening on this faculty, you'll see that we have recruitments that are very senior, for instance, people like Dr. Martinez, truly, and also like Eric Arts, through to brand new individuals who are fresh out of their postdoctoral fellowships all across the board. These are highly integrated programs. They create a strength here at a time when most other centers in Canada are constricting. We're building, right? 
Now our challenge over the next several years is going to be ensure that all of these individuals remain at the peak of their game. And everything that we're seeing so far is telling us that they're there. So I'd keep a close eye on this with you. We'll be continuing to highlight it as often as we can, getting you a chance to meet some of these young individuals as they come on board. But it's a tremendously exciting time for us as a faculty. Our students, whether they be undergraduate or graduates, are already starting to see the benefits of all of these new individuals on board. And our school is starting to grow because of it. Everything that we wanted to do when we started this four and a half years ago. So it's a really good news story, something that we can all be excited and very proud of. I know that I am, and I hope you share in that.